Welcome to Central News Center. I'm Noah. I'm Lewis. And Jonah with the weather. Hey Central, I'm Jonah Corey, and I'm gonna give you a rundown on the weather. So this week's gonna be mostly warm. There's gonna be a few kind of meteor days, kind of chilly like the last week, but mostly it's gonna be, it's gonna get up there. So on Monday, April 9th, it's gonna be 34 degrees, which is okay. Tuesday, we're gonna have 38 degrees, which is getting up there. We're gonna get some snow meltage. Which is pretty good. Wednesday, April 11th, it's going to be 43 degrees, and I believe this is the first day it's been up in the 40. Thursday, April 12th, it's going to be 45 degrees outside, which is amazing. Friday, April 13th, which uh, if you haven't heard is my birthday, but it's going to be 46 degrees out. And then for your weekend, Saturday and Sunday, it's going to be 46 and 47 degrees. So get out there and have some fun this weekend. Thanks, Jonah, for the weather. Next up, we got Richard talking about some movie hype. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What's up, guys? I'm Ricky, and I'm going to be going over a few movies coming out in April. First off, we have the movie Truth or Dare coming out on Friday the 13th. Woo! It's going to be a scary one, guys. Truth or Dare is about, well, let me show you guys some of the trailer. What are your intentions with our sweet Olivia? I needed to find someone with friends that I could trick into coming here. I brought you all up here because I'm okay with strangers dying if it means I get to live. Tell the truth or you die. Do the dare or you die. Refuse to play. You know what? Screw this. And you die. Another movie coming out in April is Rampage. Rampage seems like a really cool movie, and I think all you guys should go check it out. And if you guys want to see what some of it's about, here's some of the trailer. I rescued George when he was two years old. He's not just a friend. He's family. Got your message about George, you okay? I don't know. George? It's okay. Is it me or is he considerably bigger? Changes will be incredibly unpredictable. And that's all I have for you guys today. Just a quick look at a few movies coming out in April. Something to look forward. But uh, yeah, back to you guys. Those look really awesome. I'm going to have to go check a couple of them out. Next up, Bad Concert with Liam. So what's your name? Sarah Burris. Spencer Murphy. Uh, I'm Thomas Hoffer. My name is Sarah Harlow. What instrument do you play? Um, the bass clarinet. I play the very sax and alto sax. play uh, bass clarinet. When did you start playing your instrument? Uh, I, well, I started playing clarinet in fifth grade, but I switched over to bass clarinet in sixth grade. In the fifth grade. The sixth grade. And when was the last concert? March 12th. How ready would you say the band was for the concert? About an 8 out of 10, probably because there's always people who don't know what they're doing, but there's always people who know exactly what they're doing. They were okay, but they didn't know how to um, work with the dynamics, and we just didn't get a lot of practice time. Pretty ready. They, uh, they had been practicing a lot. Uh, it's difficult because we meet every other day for the freshmen instead of every day. Sometimes having those breaks between rehearsals can make continuity a little difficult, but I thought for the amount of time that we had and for the scheduling, uh, we were prepared. I'd say they were, they were ready, but there was some places that we weren't. What was your favorite piece that you played? Um, I think it was Spain because um, my part was really fun. It's usually pretty boring. I would have to say Aladdin. Aladdin because there's a lot of jazzy parts. My favorite piece was American Portrait. Do you think you'll take band next year? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yes, because I've been doing it all throughout middle school. There's not really a reason to not take band. All right, thank you for your time. Thanks, Liam. All right, now we're going to go to Tanner Parson. He's going to be talking about March Madness. The month of March was filled with nothing but madness. The annual NCAA tournament took place, and I'm sure all of your brackets were busted. Number two seed Arizona, who were a favorite to win it all, were upset first round by Buffalo. This year, the first ever 16 seed beat the number one seed with UNBC upset in Virginia. Only two number one seeds made it to the final four, being Kansas and Villanova. Loyola. They are in the tournament for the first time in 33 years. Good and gracious God, we're here today to beat Miami. We feel confident in playing this game. We're focused. Mm. Missed it! Here Five they come. Up. 
One timeout, they don't take it. Oh! Oh! Number 11 seed Loyola Chicago made a Cinderella run all the way to the Final Four, beating Miami, Tennessee, Nevada, and Kansas State. Of the 17.3 million brackets filled out, only 83,292 brackets had Loyola Chicago making it to the Final Four. Former UND center Carson Shanks is a senior transfer on this Loyola Chicago team and is their first seven-footer in school history. Loyola ended their Cinderella run, losing to Michigan in the Final Four. Michigan squared off against Villanova in the national championship. Villanova has been very dominant in this tournament and beaten all their opponents in the double digits, and this continues in the national championship. The Nova Wildcats won the game 79-62 to claim their second championship in three years. Man, I look like fun. Next up, Carson with the weight room. Are you guys interested in gaining some muscle? Well, listen to my story on the weight room with an exclusive interview on Jared from Choice Health and Fitness. First off, Jared, what made you want to be a personal trainer? So what made me want to be a personal trainer was after the fact that I had gone through my first year of college going into graphic design and understanding that I had to sit at a desk all day. That was not what I wanted to do. I've noticed an increase in numbers in the weight room this year with all sports. What do you think is the reason for that? I think the athletes in this school are sick of coming on the next level down to the other kids in this state. And you know, a lot of these kids, I've been trying to preach it since I was here two years ago, uh, there's a lot of kids doing extra. and when you're the only school that's not doing that extra, it, it starts to show after a while. So what are some tips for athletes that want to take it to the next level, get faster, stronger, and more explosive? Come see me. The, uh, the tip I can give is not everybody is the same, and there's no one good remedy to make every single person incredible. It takes a little bit of time, it takes a lot of commitment, from myself and the other trainers that we have, and then the athlete theirself. So to wrap it up, um, so um, as an athlete, I'm just wondering, what are some days that I can come in and to work on all these things, or what days are you available here? We are here Monday through Friday. Uh, myself, I'm here Tuesdays and Thursdays, but we have two other awesome trainers on Mondays and Wednesdays, and then on Fridays. Um, we're here from 3 to 6 five, till 5.30 on Fridays, but 3 to 6, Monday through Thursday, and then 3 to 5.30 on Fridays. And we're always here to help, doesn't matter when. Thanks, Carson. This has been Central News Center. I'm Noah. I'm Lewis. We'll see you guys next time. Eat. All right.